I'm glad. Jim wrote this excellent book about life events and factors that contributed to him becoming the outstanding person and businessman we all admire. This book is worth reading and studying, especially for young people currently trying to find their ways in a complex world. He represents the best of what Africa is and the greater good it can be. It's life, I mean to you. It's an inspiring picture, a gateway, a glimpse into what African future can make itself if only our children possesses the courage to use their innate creativity and talents to embark on, on the road of excellence. The back cover correctly calls the book Business Tips from the Godfather of Nigerian Banking. This title is fitting and proper, but because Jim was born, not because Jim was born into it, because he properly acquired it. The book outlines Jim's humble childhood, the adversity faced after his beloved father passed when Jim was a mere four year old. Confronted by adversity, Jim climbed nevertheless. He pursued education with singular purpose. Excellent was his goal, and he well achieved it. Jim was never afraid to try his best, nor afraid to earn in to learn a new things. For, for example, at page 13, he explained his love for technology and computer to the extent he would sneak out of the classes, even though he was major in business administration, during the period when he was a university student. He would sneak out and sit in the class where technology is being studied. At that stage, no one knows what his future holds for him. Why certain of his go I know Jim since when the inception of Senate. I remember when he opened the bank's first office front street. I was the treasurer of ExxonMobil at that time. He referred to this in his book. How he leads the ground floor of the residential home turning into his first of his building. From that small office, he embarked on a unique mission to succeed great in life. While certain of his goals and his abilities, he knew not what the future might bring, he simply had the confidence to make the most of that future. What is most telling about Jim's personality is how he has remained a humble man despite his Herod success. He boasts not, as this book demonstrates, he remembers his roots. He remembers he would not have made it without the help of others, as his loving mother and a dutiful older brother and a committed and loving wife. Despite the financial hardship, he made sure school, he made sure school fees were paid that he may receive the needed education. The same sense of compassion motivates Jim to help multitude through his foundation and many colleges and humanitarian work. He gives back to the society by helping educate and train the generation of African entrepreneurs. A man of both generosity and modesty, Jim believes that what he has accomplished is not an end, but a beginning. He does not see himself as a hero who cannot be emulated. He sees himself as a hardworking man who hopes, whose hopes those who succeed him may also surpass him. We lay a platform today so that others may build a greater edifice in the future, he stated in the book. Jim envisions the work towards an African devoid of poverty and want. He believes in an Africa and a Nigeria where every child, 
no matter how bull is beginning, we make the fair opportunity to become a Jimovia in its chosen field. Be it banking, medicine, education, governance, or the humanitarian care of others. Thank you, Jim, for writing this important book. Thank you even more for being an example of what is possible and necessary for this continent to grow. You have opened the door to success, and your life teaches many wonderful lessons. It is up to the next generation to walk through that door in order to create a better and more prosperous Africa and Nigeria. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Please put your hands together for him. Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, the brain behind the innovation that we've experienced in Lagos. And he is, after he came up with great ideas, he managed to pass them on and they have been sustained through several governments. This next gentleman I'm about to call is right now the man leading the charge of the enforcement of great vision that has been laid down for Lagos State. He's done a great work and he has tried to keep all the different aspects of our government involved as he makes progress with the state. Join me and welcome His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Akiwomi Ambode, to say a few words about the book as well. Come on, that's our governor. Come on, let's make some noise in this place. Ekoni Baje. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be partial. I know there are other governors here, but this is where we live, and you are our guest for now. So that's our governor. Please put your hands together for him one more time. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Your Excellencies, all the governors here present, all our political leaders here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I didn't prepare to come and say anything here. And who am I to come and speak after the Jagaban has spoken? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but obviously, you know, the truth is, there is no person that has actually gone through the profession of accountancy that would not have had something to do with Uncle Jim. That's the truth. If you are a professional banker, if you are a professional accountant, and you have actually lived your life in Lagos, you know that brand called Zenith. One way or the other, you would have actually, you know, permitted your story. And I, I just want to say, one of the key things that have actually made me a successful accountant general in Lagos State, I can attest to that openly here, is the contribution of uh, Uncle Jim Ovia and his personal touch to the finances of Lagos State that has actually made us really a big success story. There is nobody that will read this kind of book that will not be inspired. I just think I want to also recommend it to everyone it's always very good where, you know, people who are successful in their chosen career or profession decide to say something about how they really try to get to where they are. You know, people just think people get to be successful without actually knowing that they actually told to become successful. And, you know, this kind of book inspires our younger ones to become more resourceful and then more inspiring. Uncle Jim, I wish you, just like what my doyen said, and also, the other person said that we need to read more books in our own lifetime for you to continue to inspire us. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Very well said. Next individual I'm going to be calling up to speak is popular um, across Africa, and most people only know the surface of her. They know her reputation to be one of the richest black women of African descent. But if you study closely, you find that she is quite a business individual herself, having involvement in oil, involvement in the printing industry, and even involvement in fashion. She's of calm demeanor, and yet 
very, very huge stature.